are at the Kenyatta International Convention Center launching the Asante Hub. Uh, this is a hub by Kenya Airways that is meant to bring more efficiency uh, in terms of uh, offering excellent customer service experience uh, to all its customers in the country. Today we are here, again great news for Kenya Airways at uh, Msafi House this, that is adjacent to the Kenya Airways Pride Center and uh, I'm joined here by the CEO of uh, Kenya Airways, Mr. Alan Kilavuka. Uh, together with his uh, officers, like the Chief Operating Officer, George, uh, Habil, and, and, uh, and all others. I am also as well accompanied here by two of uh, my chairmen, that is the Chairman of the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, Mr. Brown Ondego. I am also joined by the Chairman of Kenya Airports Authority, Mr. Caleb Kositani, as well as the Director General of Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. We are here today to commission three very excellent facilities for Kenya Airways. One right behind me is what we refer to as the Msafiri House, which is an operation command center that is an in-house clearing facility uh, of all operations of Kenya Airways, from pilots to cabin crews to scheduling to safety matters to anything touching operation will now be harbored under one roof. This will increase efficiency to ensure that you know uh, all teams work more efficiently together and uh, services are rendered seamlessly. Behind us, we also saw the first ever bottling plant for Kenya Airways that they are now going to produce their own bottled water called Quench. I wish I had a sample here, I could showcase it to you. But I'm sure we managed to visit the bottling plant. Uh, Kenya Airways now will be able to, yes, Kenya Airways now will be able to supply its own bottled water done at source at its headquarters and supplied throughout its entire fleet and all its uh, routes across the world. Uh, this bottle of water is uh, weighs less, which means a lot in the aviation industry. And most importantly, and I think here I'll speak a bit of Kenya Airways, is cutting cost. Uh, as you are aware, Kenya Airways is in the process really of ensuring that it cast, cuts most of its costs that it can manage. And uh, this is one of the initiatives that is in place. Tied to this bottling plant is a third initiative that is being launched there, which is a pyrodiesel uh, 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 facility. Uh, a pyrodiesel facility will enable Kenya Airways to produce its own diesel uh, that is going to be used in its operation. And the raw material of this will be the bottles collected from the used bottles collected from the flights, uh, the, the quench bottle, which will be feeding into this uh, pyrodiesel you know, uh, facility to produce more diesel uh, for use of uh, the entire fleet of uh, Kenya, Airway, Kenya Airways vehicles and other operations matter. Uh, as a government, we are really, really uh, proud with uh, the leadership that has been showcased by the CEO, Alan Kilavuka. You will also recall that for the first time in 10 years, Kenya Airways has reported a profit. Last year, it also it's also reported an operating profit of $10.5 billion. This year, we also saw, saw uh, Jumbo Jet, which is 100% subsidiary of Kenya Airways, marking 10 years in operation, servicing many of our airstrips that Kenya Airways does not fly to, and also starting flights to Zanzibar and other of our neighboring countries. As a government, we are proud to make sure that our national carrier continues to you know, uh, carry our flag all over the world. Uh, and we are committed to ensuring that we continue to support Kenya Airways to make sure that it is the pride of Africa, it is the number one uh, uh, aircraft you know, company in the world because it already is in Kenya and we'll ensure that we continue to provide all the necessary support in terms of infrastructure through our Kenya Airports Authority in opening up more airstrips and also our regulator here with us 
Kenya Civil uh, Aviation Authority to ensure that everything runs as, 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 as anticipated. I thank you. We are in launching these three products which are going to help uh, enhance our footprint in terms of a very sustainable organization and by sustainability we talk about environmental sustainability uh, because we're going to be recycling a lot of waste in our pyro diesel and also the diesel that we'll be producing in our pyro diesel plant has 50% less um, carbon emissions and 50% less sulfur emissions. So this is very important for us as a responsible organization that reduces uh, the carbon footprint around the world. In addition to that, we'll be extracting a lot of waste uh, that is lying around uh, and using it uh, for productive purposes. So that diesel, we will use it for our stationary ground equipment uh, and therefore reduce costs, just like the PS has said uh, earlier. The other uh, thing that I wanted to emphasize on is that the diesel that we'll be producing currently is going to be a thousand liters a day which is not sufficient for our, our use but we'll be expanding it as and when uh, we have proved the case uh, for this particular pyro diesel plant. Uh, as for the water bottling and purification plant, uh, again there we are very very proud. We will again reduce our cost substantially. In fact our estimate is that we will uh, uh, reduce our cost by uh, at least 60% of our current cost for, for the water. Uh, in addition to that we will also be able to provide the excess capacity that we have in that water uh, bottling plant to the ecosystem around us uh, and so that it also really helps to reduce their, their water uh, cost as well. And then lastly, uh, the one behind us here, which is the Musafiri House, is going to, just like the PS has said again, is going to significantly improve our efficiency and again uh, reduce our cost long term in terms of the way we do our operations. So we are very, very proud of uh, these three ventures. Uh, these ones were all uh, bathed or initiated uh, during the COVID period and they are all staff initiatives because it is the staff that requested us to look at different ways of either reducing cost, increasing our revenue or improving our efficiency and our customer uh, excellence uh, as we go forward. So thank you very much for coming and, uh, and, and uh, you know, we look forward to these uh, very successful ventures. Thank you.